Hey guys, Remote Animation here. The guy who might have kept a few of you waiting for a fantasy op for the past few months. And I've returned with some news. Neither good nor bad, just news. And as we all already know, this project actually took a little longer than expected and in my defense, choosing to make something as complex as this for a first project might have been a mistake. And right now, it might be a little too late to back down. And right now, the app has already been submitted to Google Play for a closed testing review. So there is literally nothing I can do except to wait. So while I do that, I felt it would be nice to fill you guys in on the features I managed to implement that weren't that were disabled in the dubbed down version. So the first thing on this list wasn't actually disabled, it just had a lot of errors and didn't really work as intended. And the feature I'm talking about is the gradient render engine as it did crash on most devices. But it works perfectly fine now, it's not exactly the fastest but with lower sample counts it can get speeds reasonable enough for animation. Then up next we have the Vishon engine which just got a slight increase in speed and apart from that not much actually changed as this render engine should probably only be used for image renders and not animation because this render engine is a little too grainy for use in animations. And the third render engine actually got a major update which was the illusion render engine as it now renders faster and it's a lot cleaner compared to Vishon and it's most suitable for animation although it's clearly not as good as the other two render engines but it still manages to achieve a rather decent style but Vishon with enough samples is still visually better but even at that illusion still has some certain scene types that it excels at rendering Rendering aside, the rigging system also had some updates in terms of how it was implemented into the app. And now we also have the auto weight function so you don't have to manually weight paint all the weights. And now activating inverse kinematics on any 3 bone chain is as simple as a click of a button. And one feature I felt I haven't really showed enough is actually the animation system. And it makes use of the animation system most of us already know, which is the keyframe system. And for added bonus, we actually have a graph editor for editing the interpolation of these keyframes. And lastly, we have one experimental feature that will actually make animating faster in terms of rendering, which is the ability to bake your renders onto a texture. And honestly, it doesn't really look that good in this shot, but it's still in development and it will get better with time. And that is pretty much everything that will be in the first Play Store release along with the features that were already in the dub down version. And once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.